Every morning, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must outrun the fastest lion or it'll die. And every morning, a lion wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the slowest gazelle or it'll starve to death. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you'd better be running. My name is Captain Danielle Posen, and I'm on the Marine Corps running team. What drives me to run is, it's the healthiest way, I think, to get out all the demons, focus on the right things, especially out here. Um, it's kind of my me time, and that's, that's where I really spend time reflecting. It's almost kind of like a prayer. So this was at the Johnstown Marathon in um, my hometown. We still have this blanket. That was one of the first marathons that my dad did. And he would go by our house. So we would always stand there with cups of water and pass it out to my dad and then drive down to the finish line. Um, so that's him finishing. He was a smoker for you know 16 years and not really an athlete. My mom got pregnant with my older brother and he at that point just decided like I need to, I'm gonna be a dad so I'm gonna change some things and quit smoking cold turkey and went on the track and ran a lap. Next day went out and did two laps, next day three laps and until he just started running marathons. What I always thought was really um, impressive was his dedication. My dad still made time to go run in the mornings or after work but also incorporated us into that. I'm impatient, so running keeps me patient. I go into a lot of things and I, and I expect, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get results immediately. Every day, I might not have a great run, but I'm getting out there and I'm putting time on my feet. It, it, it's just chopping wood every day, I'm chopping wood. And then eventually, you, you're gonna build a fire and, and something is gonna spark. There's a quote that I like that says, make peace with the boredom of mastery. And that's something that I'm, I'm trying to, to get better at, is just making peace with the fact that it is going to be boring. And some days I'm, I'm going to go out and I'm going to say, uh, I don't want to do this. My dad always taught me the first 10 minutes are going to suck. The first 10 minutes are not going to be easy. If you still feel bad after that, then you can make a decision of maybe I'm gonna scrap it for the day, but you gotta give it those first 10 minutes. And, I, and I'll tell you nine times out of 10, after those first 10 minutes, my mind's already gone somewhere else. It's, it's always a humbling experience. And the, and the heartbreak about running is, especially in long distances, you can't go out the next week and redeem yourself. The, the race was in at the end of May. I was definitely prepared. Mentally, I felt like the strongest I had been Physically, I was the fastest I've ever been, so I was ready to roll. And going through those first 20 miles felt great. And I, and I know that I had done a couple miles too fast, but I didn't think, I didn't think it would affect me that, that much. And I stopped at mile 22 with the intent of just getting some water, pouring it on my face, getting back out there. But everything just kind of cramped and I did not get up after that. I get to walk out in this amazing ceremony where they're playing the national anthem and wear USA on our jerseys. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. So there was also that piece of disappointment in myself. Like, I didn't even finish this race. I was selected to represent the United States military and I didn't finish. So I honestly did not even know that the Marine Corps Marathon was going to be available to us out here. So I let my coach know probably in the beginning, like, hey, I, I think they're actually going to do it. If I'm available and if mission allows, we should do this. Like, let's go out, and, especially the Marine Corps Marathon. Like, we're Marines. Like, that's our race. This is our race. And especially knowing that on the same day, all the girls and all the guys on the team are going to be doing the same exact thing, it's awesome. It'll be fun to see how well they do and knowing that regardless of the distance, regardless of whether I'm deployed or not, we're still, we're still a team and still um, running together basically.
I think that that is really cool and I'm just grateful for the opportunity to run while I'm out here. So I think my biggest goal is just to, to run a smart race. It's easier said than done. My competitiveness, you know, your ego, being so excited to run. And so my, my goal is to go out there and run the first half just smart and just run a smart race. I want to be able to hit that 20 mile mark and have some, something left in the tank to be like, okay, it's game on. Let's see what I can do. I absolutely want to break tape someday, but I know more importantly than anything is it's about the time, it's about beating my own personal best. I think the most important thing for me where I want to see running is kind of the same way that my dad sees running is, is a lifelong thing. So he want, he's always been just grateful that he can go out every day and run. And I think that's where I, I eventually want to just get to the point where it's something that I do just part of my day. Right now, I'm, I'm still I'm still competitive. I still want to get out there and see what my body can do. I think these next coming years, I'm gonna, I have the capability to be in the best shape of my life, be in a good mindset, and I just want to see where, where I can take my body. The biggest issue for me will always be my mind telling me, you aren't enough, and then me telling myself, yes, you are.